All right, folks, going to have to bear with me here for this unboxing. It's the Dow Strong Premium Whetstone Set. This actually come in the mail a few days ago. I've been anxiously waiting to unbox it. This thing is uh, packaged pretty well. Reminiscent of like the, uh, as an example, if you've ever bought anything from Anchor, the way everything they've got packaged up. It's almost like the package is way higher quality than other products. So it looks like we've got some uh, reading material, two whetstones. The kit, I believe, is a 400 and a 1,000. No, it's a 1,000 and a 6,000 stone. Uh, 1,000 and 6,000 stone. So this is the 1,000, this is the 6,000. Also has... Uh, for maintaining the stones this is for leveling the stone this is a rust remover if you have rust on your knives uh, I never let my knives get rust on them so uh, I don't know I guess if you got a high carbon knife bushcraft knife or something like that maybe it's gotten wet maybe you neglected to take care of it and it was in a leather sheath this is supposed to take the rust off of the knife then we have this case let me move this box out of the way i believe this is bamboo from what i remember reading about i think it's bamboo it might be some other some other kind of wood but either way nice stand the stand has a rubber mat inside of it here the black part is actually the rubber mat i believe it comes out yep so you got a rubber mat, wood stand. Now, let me go into why I got these. Anybody that knows me knows I cannot stand a dull knife. I've got numerous knife sharpeners, uh, diamond stone. I got a few smaller wet stones. I've got, I don't know how many work sharp things in each one of my kits. Either way, knife maintenance to me is almost a daily thing. I've got a pretty expensive set of kitchen knives. You know, maintaining them on those smaller bushcrafty type stones is kind of a pain in the butt. So I wanted to get larger whetstones. And when I say larger, I mean these are larger. These are way larger width and length than most stones that I've ever seen. And only one other Amazon review that I could find outside of the manufacturers. Uh, just a quick search on the Dow Strong. And that looks like the size that I was interested in. Now, I don't have an exact size for you. Hold on just a minute. I thought I had a tape measure right here. But I must have moved it. But I do have a Leatherman. Looks like, uh, yeah, I got a Leatherman here. Probably not the best thing to measure with, but it looks like we're at about close to four inches wide and more than eight inches long. Let me get this out where you can see it. So here's the stone we're going to measure. This is a uh, Leatherman Charge TTI Titanium. Obviously it has 8 inch tape measure on it. So I'm going to lay it down, line up the edge for the first inch. So 8 inches, so it looks like we're about 8 and uh, pretty close to 9 inches. Definitely more than 8, closer to 9 length. And width we are um somewhere pretty close to four 
because we are right at the halfway point. Like literally where the Leatherman folds. So uh, looks like we're somewhere close to four by nine. I believe that the specs were 3.8 by like 8.7 or something online. And I'd have to look it up to see for sure. But either way, this is a this is the kit. So the kit comes with the stand, the two stones, the part for maintaining the stones. Keeps the stones flat. And then the rust remover if you get rust on a knife blade. Stand, stones, pretty nice looking kit. Now, I went ahead, they offer two more sets of additional stones. And because I wanted a complete set, somewhere from, you know, I wanted to be able to to do whatever I need to do, and a 1,000 and a 6,000 stone is pretty good. But they also offer four more stones that comes in two more sets. As soon as I get the plastic off. By the way, I bought these with my own money. Uh, this is the second set. I have no idea which stones are in these. I didn't actually look to see if there were markings on the back. But again, I bought these with my own money. None of my videos are from paid content. You know, I review stuff that I think is unique. There's a lot of things that I could do that just everybody else is beat to death in. So why make another video? Um, this one is a 400 to 1,000. So that would mean I would have a 400, 1,000. Actually, this might be a 10,000. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. No, it says 1,000. Well, I'm kind of hoping now then that... Oh, I see. There was another piece of tape I forgot to take off. Either way, I'm trying to get from like, you know, be able to do high, high metal removal with like a 400 stone. There's a thousand. So I guess I'm going to have 2,000 stones now. A 1,000, a 400, there's a 400, then a 1,000. Then a 6,000. And I still have another box left to go. This box should open easier, just like the last box. There were some hidden tape, tape spots I didn't see on it. Now that I know where all the tape pieces are at. Okay, so in the third kit, I'm going to pull out a 8,000, which is good. I don't have that one yet. And a 3,000. So basically it's going to go uh, there's my 400 stone then my 1,000 stone then a 3,000 stone, then a 6,000 stone, then an 8,000 stone. Now, this isn't made by the same company, but I kind of got it because it was a fairly large leather strop. 
It's three inches wide and eight inches long. Let me actually take the leather strap out because it is three by eight and you can see how much larger these stones are in relation to this leather strop. So three by eight leather strop, you can see there's definitely, you know, half inch on the sides and close to an inch on the top. So then also got a leather strop. The leather strop is made by Lavoda, L-A-V-O-D-A. -A. Also come from Amazon. It come with some uh, rubbing compound. It's supposed to be a green and a blue, but it looks like to me it says... Well, it actually says, uh, let's see if I can get it up here where you can see it. It actually says that it comes with white compound for coarse cut and polish, green compound for fine and cut less polish. But if you look in there, they both look white to me. So I don't care because really I didn't buy it for the compound and I've got all kinds of other uh, rubbing compound for leather straps. So out of the deal, I guess I did end up with an, a spare 1,000 stone um, by buying the three boxes. That's fine. I would like to get a 10,000 stone if Dow Strong ever comes out with one. A 10,000 would really complete this set. Um, so cost the kit that come with the base and the two stones and the maintainer stone and the rust stone uh, was $89 on Amazon um, the other two kits were $49 each so I've got roughly um, 90 let's just round it up 90 and uh, $190 into a pretty good large whetstone kit. Now I know this is an unboxing, but when I get ready to use these, I'll do another video. Basically these are whetstones. You have to soak them in water until they stop bubbling and then they're ready to go. But I got a couple knives here to touch up, so we'll get some more videos here soon.